Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have a cool origami craft that will look something like the ones that you see on my background. You could make any kind of shape. Today I'm going to be making a jumbo one. So yeah, comment down below what shapes you want me to do, you guys, because I'm just going to do a normal square. You could do anything, but yeah, I recommend doing the basic shapes if you're a beginner like me. So let's get started with the craft. All right, so to get started, you're gonna need a piece of paper. The measurements are 7.5 by 7.5. If it's not 7.5 by 7.5, it will not work. So you have to use the right measurements. If your paper is not that size, you could cut it or you could just fold it. So yeah, to get started, you wanna take a paper that only has one side colored and then you want to fold it in half making sure that the colored side is facing outwards I'm just going to do mine on the table i recommend doing it on the table by the way and then you want to do the exact same but for the other side all right i zoomed you guys in now let's do it so you want to fold it like this in half and then go ahead and flatten it out again so that now when you open it, there's a square crease. Then you want to do a triangular shape, folding it over like this. So it looks like a half sandwich. And then you want to do the exact same thing, but on the opposite side. All right, guys, we're getting to the very complicated step right now. Um, feel free to far, like pause the video if you need more time. Now let's fold it in half. So you want to fold it in half like this and see that there are creases, you guys. Let's focus it. See that they are creases like along the lines here, as you can see. Pick a crease on either side. I'm going to do this side and fold it upwards like this. Let me zoom you guys in. All right, you guys, you want to fold it up like this. So just fold it upwards until it makes like a triangular shape. This part is really hard. Feel free to take more time. But when you're done, it should look something like this. You should have like something that it's like this. And then the next step is to put this side down so you get this shape. Then with this shape, you want to fold it upwards like this so that this side's now on the opposite side. I don't know if it makes sense, but hopefully it does to you guys. Then you want to open it up and put your finger down here on the white part. So it'll be like this. As you can see, it's just on the opposite side. Now take this part that you already folded and fold it, fold it over so that you have something about like this. And then when you fold this one down, you have a diamond shape. Just make sure you don't see many white parts because then it won't work. As you can see, it's now a diamond shape. Now let's continue with the craft. Okay, so now that you have a diamond shape, what you wanna do is you want to fold the part here up like this. And then once you're done with that, put it down again, you should have a crease, and then you wanna fold the white part up like this. And then you wanna fold this one back down and fold an even smaller one until the third crease you just made, like this. So now you have a mini one. Now with this, you wanna fold it up until it makes like a half shape. Let me show you guys. So what you wanna do is to fold it upwards like this. And then do it two more times. One and two. You should have something that looks like this. Now flip it over and do the exact same thing. Like this. And then fold it down. And now you should have the exact same thing on both sides. This is also another hard part. I promise this is the last one, you guys. So 
As you can see, if you have followed all the steps correctly, you will have something that opens up like this. Open it up and also open it up on the other side. And then you want to press it down so that it makes like another diamond shape. But this time, you don't see any more white parts. So you're like starting afresh again. So as you can see, now both sides are red. And if you open it up, you can see that the inside is the part you just folded. So with this part, it's super easy. First, you want to fold it up until the line. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there's actually a crease over here. Fold it well, and then do the exact same on the other side. Like this. And then repeat for this side. I'm going to fold it up. And as you can see, you have like a mini envelope on top of a diamond shape. It kind of looks like a backpack, you guys. It looks pretty cool. And now you want to fold it up until this line. See this line here? Fold this part up until that line, you guys. So it should be like this. So now it's like even smaller envelope. And then you want to fold it up again, covering the two lines I just showed you guys. Let me try to fold it like this. And also it has to be equal to the flap on the bottom, like this. Now repeat on the other side, and that's the final step. Afterwards, it'll be the opening up part so that it'll look semi like this. Let's do it. So first fold it up again. I, I actually like to do this. I didn't show you guys for the previous one, but it helps to make the crease more obvious because it's nighttime and I can't really see it too well. So I like to do that extra step. I know it's extra work. The poppet I'm gonna be making is six by six. So I have to make six of these in six different colors on six rows. It's, it's gonna take a lot of time, but if you have time, I think it's like perfect to do it. I don't know why I just did that step, but okay. Now you wanna go ahead and do the same things. I don't know why I literally just did that step. Don't follow me, you guys. All right, now you wanna fold it like this so that it looks like a backpack kind of thing. And then you wanna fold this part up until here and fold it up again. Now you have something that looks like a Christmas hat. How cute, you guys. Do you guys see that there's like a little opening in the bottom? Open it up. Now you have like a mini paper box and you want to use your nails or fingers to like open it up. And now I have a little box. Add it to your collection and make six rolls of six. I'll be back when I'm done. I might do it. done you guys the whole puppet is now complete now what you want to do is to hot glue it together hey guys so I'm currently I'm um, gluing the thing right now so I just wanted to show you guys but this is what you have to do so glue one side like this just a little bit of glue and then fold it up and be careful don't burn yourself I literally burn myself so many times that's why I did it off camera. And then you want to also do it for the other side, which is the opposite side. Don't put too much glue because if not, it'll like leak out and it'll like be really bad and messy. So then you'll have like a box like this. And then what you want to do is take the big piece that you're currently um, working on. And you want to glue this two parts, which is here and here. Be careful with hot glue, only do it if you're given permission. And then just stick it on like that and then you're done. I'm gonna finish up um, my poppet and check back with you guys when I'm done. Bye guys. Hey guys, so this is how it turned out. I really, really like it, I think it's super nice. 
it's not like the poppets that you pop down and then you like you pop up from the other side. Of course you could do that. This is how the back looks like just because mine is not double sided. I felt like it was like a waste if it was like double sided. And here's some ASMR for you guys that are interested. Okay guys, so I just realized that if you press it a little bit hard, it kind of goes a little bit out of shape. So you gotta like put your hands behind and kind of like pop it back up again. It's kind of annoying, but like, I mean, it works you guys. Honestly, it works. Overall, it's a 10 out of 10. I really, really like it. It's very fun to pop, gives good ASMR, and I just really, really like it a lot. Like, I could pop this literally all day. I just wish I didn't have to, like, flip it over and pop it again. Leave me some just suggestions on how I can fix that, you guys. I don't know how to fix that. I mean, I really like popping this. As you can see, it's like a little bit like crumpled. That's just because I've been playing with it a lot. And I really, really like it. I think it's definitely recommended for you guys to try it out. It's really easy to just pop it back from the other side. And you can just literally put it down and just pop it like this. And it's really fun. And you could do this literally like infinite times. I love this. 10 out of 10 recommendations. I love it. Thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what other origami crafts you want to see me do. And without further ado, thanks for watching. Peace.